Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Random Review Series. D. Bougie 86 here again. Now, the film I got for you guys today is the newest release from Arsplatation's film. It was actually released today. And I was excited to check this one out when it was first announced. It's a film from Germany, and it's known as Der Bunker, which in German means The Bunker. The main plot of this one, we're introduced to our main character, who is just known as the student in the film. He uh, ends up renting out like uh, this uh, uh, apartment inside this bunker complex for uh, the winter to do some research on something that he is studying for. And when he gets to this uh, complex and this apartment, he uh, meets the landlord and the landlord's family landlord's wife and then he meets their uh, son their eight-year-old son Klaus who's very kind of like uh, like a man childish way he kind of looks like a older than he really is and pretty much what ends up happening is these uh the parents of Klaus end up uh, persuading the student to teach their son and uh, proper like stuff that they teach him in to learn how to become the president of the United States yes and then after that they start doing this uh, teaching and it ensues after that's pretty much the main plot of it without giving much away in it now my thoughts on this film what a very very odd film and it's a film that I could only see like come out of Germany it's very odd and it has a lot of odd humor in it the humor is funny and dark at the same time and i really did uh love the humor of this film this film has some tremendous acting i have to say it has uh some of the best performances from acting in my opinion because pretty much it's just uh these uh four characters throughout the film and they interact with each other and act off of each other and the acting's brilliant the two parents are really well acted. The student is pretty act well acted, and Klaus is enormously acted in this film because he's a pretty much older man, pretending to be like this like man child, pretty much. And it's a performance you have to see to believe. Now, there's a lot of like, like I said, with the art moments, there's a lot of like uh, se sexual in the end go in this film. And it's really well handled and it actually made me chuckle when it was happening, even though it was kind of bizarre in the situations that it was happening. In it. But it was really well done and well performed. Now the cinematography of the film is really, really well done. There's this opening like uh, shot when the students actually heading to this apartment and it's in like this snowy terrain and it's just like beautifully shot. The rest of the shots are really beautifully shot. There's a lot of like cool, uh, uh, tinges throughout the film most notably like near the end of the film like a lot of reds and blues that I really did dig I really did dig that film uh, type of uh, cinematography in films and it was well lit for uh, the setting because there is no like sunlight in this film because it all takes place in this bunker complex for the most part now the humor is really interesting with this film because uh, I can see it like not really going across like certain people, but I've seen a lot of like German films like this before, so I kind of get this kind of humor, and it's kind of in essence to like the films of Terry Gilliam in a way. It has like a very Gilliam sense of humor. If you haven't seen any of Gilliam's films, they have like that dry like sort of like Monty Python like influence sense of humor in it. And I really did dig that, and this film is just a blast to watch, and I highly enjoyed it. It's well directed, well acted, and it's just well shot, and just a, I really liked the ending of this film too. I wasn't expecting how this film was ending, it kept me guessing throughout it, and I really did enjoy it. And if I had to rate their bunker, I'm giving it a solid 9 out of 10. It's just one of my favorite releases from Arsploitation this year, and... It's just a fun watch. I really highly enjoyed this film. Now, for special features, we got a uh, director's commentary, which is really informative. Uh, he goes into like all like the shots and stuff, and 
uh, the actors' histories, and it's really well done in the, how he came up with this story and idea for this film. And there's a bunch of like uh, deleted scenes and outtakes also. So this is a really recommendable release from Arsploitation because it does give you informative information uh, on the film. Plus it shows you like scenes that they actually cut from the film, which I found interesting. They were kind of interesting scenes too. Uh, and of course it also has like Arsploitation trailers, which is uh, a known for like this company. They always like release uh, trailers for their certain films in line. Which is cool. So, yeah, if I had to recommend this, I would. It's a blast and it's a 9 out of 10. So, yeah, def check out Debunker. Wicked awesome flick. All right, guys, that's all I got for this review. As always, I'll be back soon with another one for you guys. So, as always, I'll see you then. Peace out.